Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Clouds. Today we're back again with another GPO video, of course. And uh, this one's gonna be a little different. We're gonna be going over everything you need to know in update 4.5 or the Halloween update. And basically I'm just gonna be going over a bunch of sneaks, all the stuff I can show at least. And we're gonna give our opinions on the update. So hopefully this video does help you out and you guys do enjoy it. If you guys do consider hitting that like and subscribe button, we on the road. 250k you feel me let's get right into that video boys all right boys we're gonna be talking about halloween update or update 4.5 now i do have quite a bit to cover in this video as this update is actually kind of bringing a decent amount of stuff like i'm genuinely surprised how much stuff this update is bringing i thought this would be a good idea to do this video once i had a solid amount of snakes to do and as it seems the update is coming closer we're coming to an end to october so i thought now would be a great time to cover this video so the first thing i feel like would be a good thing to mention is the m1 nerf uh, for you has already mentioned that he's going to nerf m1 scaling overall and as you guys can see in this clip the before damage versus the after after the scaling it is quite a huge difference so no more will there be the massive amount of, of m1 in arena this was a really big issue in update 4 it was already an issue in update 3 when we had you know 35 to 40 average but now we have people doing 50 to 60 average in this meta where everyone's putting all their points on the sword me included i'm also you know a part of the problem i'm not even gonna lie to you but this will fix a lot of your guys' issues on um, one thing in update four. Now, I think this is actually kind of good because they're using this 0.5 update to make a massive PVP change rather than having to always usually wait for a full update for them to do a massive PVP change. So that is a nice change of pace, won't lie to you. The next thing they're doing is they're, um, as you guys can see in the screenshot right now, they're increasing the vertical range of weapons this is an interesting choice because this will take a level of uh, a level away of skill per se because now you're not going to be able to get out of m1s that good so movement won't be as much of an asset like it used to be uh, movement was one of the things that was kind of skill in this game where you would use your movement to kind of move around m1s as well as kind of you know uh, skillfully go get around your opponent and stuff like that so that's no longer going to be a thing Next thing that's getting added in update 4.5 is Devil Fruit Reset Bag is going to be tradable. Um, that is a, another cool but subtle thing that's going to be added to this, as well as Devil Fruit Resets. So it's kind of, as you guys can see in the screenshot over here, it's going to kind of be like Rokas from uh, YBA, if you guys have ever played YBA. So that is, that is definitely an interesting thing that they're adding this update, and I do agree with this. This will make it easier for some people to get uh, resets, as some people cannot get robux as easily so now it gives them a chance to trade in-game items for re stat resets i think this is a big change that's going to help a lot of the community i mean like not, not a big change a small change that's going to help a lot of people my bad next thing that i find is interesting if you, as you guys can see in this sneak right here this little whole ripple effect um this is an interesting thing that they're adding to the halloween update and this directly leads into the next sneak which is the zombies as you guys can see um, I think it'll be some underworld type thing, type theme, which will very much fit the Halloween type theme, if, if, you, if that makes sense. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just these other sneaks right here. This is the uh, boss jester hat. And then some of these other sneaks right here, as you guys can see. The island that just got added, which also makes me believe that this update is going to be very, very, very soon. We already have the islands completely done and everything is almost pretty much done so I'm, i really think that this update will come soon like sooner than we are originally anticipating but i think this is an interesting thing how they're adding the zombies i think it'll be like an interesting side quest or maybe it'll be a mechanic to the boss where the zombies will actually be there with the boss in this sense it'll make boss fighting an actual strategy type thing in the sense that you'll have to do more than just corner the boss this would be very interesting, kind of um, similar to other games that do stuff like this. Like they'll have a boss, boss mechanics such as mobs, spawning, etc. You get the gist. That would be interesting. Um, next big thing, not uh, not big thing, but thing we've been waiting for is clothing. As you guys can see right here, we have the admirals' clothings and whatnot. Um, this was something that was supposed to come in originally in update four, which was bumped to update four point five, and these clothing look fire but this isn't even the best one boys this one right here is the best one the ones that come with the other anime clothing bleach you guys see kenpachi's clothing and everything 
this is the one I was really hyped for, and I was hoping that they would bring it to update 4, but we did have to wait about an extra month. Not a big deal, I would say. Um, not too, 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 too long. Earlier than, like, you know, previous updates. But these clothings are definitely fire. And as you guys can see, he is adding some shoes. Um, these shoes actually do look fire. They added the Crocs in here, you know what I'm saying? It got a drippy, got a drippy. And, and uh, Benir did say he would add Air Jordans <laughs> eventually for the Christmas update or whatever. So that is something else to look forward to. Um, next thing is grip animations. As you guys can see on the screen right here, we have the Jester grip animations, which in my opinion is really good grip animation. Like they actually put some work into this. And uh, this one right here is the uh, Hollow's Fang grip animation. Hollow's Fang grip animation is kind of more subtle. I don't really think that one's as nice, but it is, it is all right. It is all right to say the least. So we got a lot of the stuff out of the way in terms of snakes already, but now we're going through the weapons. Now we've already seen the, um, you know, everything on the weapons, but I th honestly think these are very interesting. Like we have a unique weapon, one of a kind on both ends. Well, uh, the Jester Scythe is more of kind of like, it kind of like is similar to other weapons, but the Hollow's Fang, even though it might not be the best weapon, one thing it definitely has over every single weapon in the game is that level of uniqueness. Um, kind of like Minato, if you guys see my reaction, it is very similar to Minato's kunais where you can place, you know, the Shadow Fang and, you know, obviously you can teleport it whenever. It's going to bring another level of uniqueness to the gameplay that I really do enjoy. And I think these weapons are nice. And I like the fact that they're actually adding more than one weapon to this update. It seems like they're really giving it, you know, a lot of effort for this just 0.5 update, which I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with how much they're actually bringing to this update. They've never brought this much to a 0.5 update. So that is definitely a plus no matter how you look at it. Um, but no, these weapons do look solid for what they are. Hollow's Fang does not look the greatest. However, Jester looks like it's going to be an issue to deal with. Moving on to this next part. This part is kind of the controversy. Um, I watched Rashhead's version of this, which, by the way, I'm not trying to copy Rashhead if you're watching this. I had actually planned to do this video uh, days ago, but I had put it off. Um, I have also been told that Mochi... There's a chance Mochi will be coming to update 4.5, not only by testers, but by plenty of other people. And it's quite interesting because it kind of makes sense. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of Mochi potentially coming out to update 4.5. There's been a lot more sneaks on Mochi lately. We already have the icon, as you guys can see right here, looking nice and drippy. Got that Mochi icon. And there's just been a lot more exposure on Mochi lately. So I would not put it past you know, the team to release it now and update 4.5. It, it's just, I'm not guaranteeing it'll come. I've heard multiple testers tell me personally it's coming to 4.5. Not to mention we're seeing a bunch of sneaks lately. So all I'm saying is keep it in the realm of possibility that Mochi could potentially come out update 4.5. That would be a great surprise. Now, if you ask me, I think it's less than a 50% chance it will. Probably like only like 20% chance it will because it is such a major fruit. And it doesn't really make sense to add such a major fruit on a, not a major update. They usually keep those, you know, those two separated. But there is definitely a possibility. Obviously, we got Horror Horror Nomi. Um, I'm really excited for this fruit. You know, Perona is a cool character in the anime. And her show and her ability in the show, I meant, my bad, is actually quite, quite nice. I mean, it doesn't look like it'll be the greatest fruit in the game. But it's kind of similar to, like, you know... A 0.5 update would be usually 0.5 updates add less relevant fruits um, and leave the major fruits for you know the big updates obviously but it doesn't look like it'll be that bad like this fruit does seem like it'll have its uses it is just a rare obviously so it's nothing crazy but it is adding another element of uniqueness to the game like there is no other fruit similar to you know the hollow's fang there is no fruit that is quite like horror horror nomi so it is quite interesting in that sense that it will bring 100% that element to the game. And I'm honestly, I'm honestly for it. Like I'm for seeing this uniqueness they're adding to the game rather than just copy pasting. Because some of the logias, I don't know if you guys have noticed, some of the logias 
kind of feel copy paste sometimes so it, it, it is actually nice in that sense the only thing else i have to pretty much talk to you guys about is the the uh, halloween map sneak as you guys can see right here in the screen this does look interesting i did show this earlier in the video but i just kind of want to give my thoughts on it this does look like it'll be nice um i don't think that's it though another thing they just released this by the way is this right here and i just want to talk about this and kind of give my thoughts on it so going back to that hole in the ground image or that like ripple image i think this thing that we see right here this little darkness um you know rotted type thing will have something to do with that a lot of people are thinking that this image on the screen right now is a fruit um i don't think so i think it'll be an activation type thing to fight one of the bosses now am i 100 sure on this no this is not guaranteed at all this is me just giving my opinion on what i think it'll be i don't think that's the horror horror nomi fruit model it just I'm, I, I'm not, you know, saying it is or it isn't, but I just don't think it is. <laughs> don't ask me why. I just have a feeling that it has something to do with the hole in the ground. I feel like the two correlate in some way. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all the sneaks I can show as of right now. Update 4.5 is really bringing a lot more to the table than we had originally anticipated in all honesty. Out of all the sneaks that you, I showed in the video, let me know down in the comments below which one you guys preferred the most or liked the most or caught your interest the most honestly all of them did for me um one thing that's kind of 50 50 that i forgot to mention before we actually wrap up this video i'm remembering right now is th the chance of cyborgs um update 4 they said cyborgs will come update 4.5 and uh i they haven't really talked about it since but i just want to bring up the potential chance for cyborg to be dropping that honestly alone, and my bad, I'm continuing this a lot longer, even though I'm supposed to be ending it. That honestly alone will make this update actually pretty big for a 4.5 update. Because when was the last time they've added a race? They never have. They never have in the history of this game. It's always been the same four races. Human, Skypia, Mink, Fishman. So this will be the first update they actually add a new race, which is actually quite insane. Not to mention all the other stuff they're adding. You know, a new fruit, which obviously they add a new fruit every update. Two new weapons, new clothing, big balance changes, actual impactful balance changes. New unique, you know, bosses, zombies and everything. This like I'm getting actually pumped for this update. This is literally looking out to be a lot better than any of us anticipated, I think. Anyways, actually about to wrap it up now. Hopefully this video helped you guys in some way. If it did, let me know down in the comments below. Again, comment down which sneak or which part of this update you're most excited for. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace, y'all.